In this sprawling reserve in central Kenya are the world's last two remaining northern white rhinos. Najin and her 24-year-old daughter Fatu, both infertile and kept under constant surveillance after their species was poached to extinction. But thousands of miles away in the Aventea lab in Cremona, Italy, a groundbreaking effort to try and save the northern white rhino through IVF. Sylvia Calioni, the only scientist in the world who's using eggs taken from Fatu and fertilizing it with sperm from now deceased northern whites to create embryos kept here on ice. With the rhinos is different. We have to adapt the technique. The samples are very precious. It's really important not to lose them. A process with no room for error. Calioni starts by preparing the seven rhino eggs that just arrived from Kenya, checking to ensure they're viable. We have at least one. That's something at least. She then retrieves some of the frozen semen, carefully thawing it out before inspecting its quality. Then, the crucial moment. So you're about to fertilize the egg right now? Yes. That's the sperm. And I'm going to inject it. Well done. <laughs> That's great. Very cool. That fertilized egg is stored here in this incubator for about eight to 10 days. Now, if it becomes a viable embryo, it comes to this side of the room. Officials here say it's stored in this jug on liquid nitrogen. So we're talking minus 320 degrees. So far, Calioni has created 30 embryos, meaning 30 chances of impregnating a surrogate rhino through IVF. It's a process that's worked. Last year, in another world first, a southern white rhino became pregnant by IVF, but the mother and the baby died from an infection. That is an, um, uh, a cast we did from the baby. So it's a, the baby is a 70-day-old uh, early fetus. Scientist Thomas Hillebrandt is leading the effort on the ground in Kenya and will be attempting the embryo transfer of the northern white rhino later this year. We are very confident that the uh, next embryo transfer, that will be an embryo transfer with a northern white rhino embryo. We believe that uh, this approach could be used for other critical endangered animals. If all 30 embryos result in successful pregnancies, scientists say the northern white rhino could start to repopulate on their own. It's a historic international effort from teams all across the world, working quickly to save a species before it's too late. Would you say that this is a race against time? Every day that passes, uh, time works against us because the animal uh, fat is, will get older and older. Do so you feel confident that you can save the northern white rhino? Yes, yes, we can say it's a matter of time. It's a 16-month pregnancy, so even if the embryo transfer is successful, we won't see the first northern white rhino to IVF until 2026. But even still, the work here in Cremona continues. Back to you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.